peregrine falcons exhibit remarkable speed and agility, making them not only the fastest bird globally, but also one of the most adept aerial hunters. Their exceptional vision, muscular build, and sharp talons enable them to spot and capture prey with precision. Witnessing a peregrine falcon in action is a testament to the evolutionary adaptations that have honed their predatory skills over millions of years. In Queensland, these magnificent birds are classified as least concern under the Nature Conservation Act 1992. Peregrine falcons typically have a body length ranging from 35 to 50 cm and a wingspan of 80 to 105 cm, with females slightly larger than males. They possess a distinctive, robust chest with well-developed pectoral muscles for flight, along with broad wings that taper to a pointed tip. The head and cheeks are adorned with a black hood, complemented by yellow skin around the eyes and on the sear the area of skin at the base of the beak covering the nostrils. The chin and throat display white or yellowy cream coloring, while the chest and underbelly are speckled with black. The back and wings exhibit a slate blue hue with darker barring, and the undersides of the wings and tail are tipped in black. Barred feathers cover the upper legs, while the lower legs and feet are yellow. In flight, peregrine falcons utilize a combination of shallow wing beats and short glides, transitioning to deeper wing beats when hunting. They also take advantage of rising warm air currents to soar efficiently while searching for prey. These birds are typically observed either alone or in pairs, with the latter forming lifelong bonds. A similar species to the peregrine falcon is the Australian hobby falco Longi pennis, which is smaller in size and features a light reddish-brown underbelly. The black markings around its eyes do not extend far enough to create a hood-like appearance. Peregrine falcons have successfully adapted to various landscapes and vegetation types worldwide, thriving even in urban environments. Cities now serve as crucial habitats for these birds, with skyscrapers providing ideal roosting and nesting spots reminiscent of natural cliff faces. Instead of observing them in the wild, people can now witness peregrine falcons perched on high-rise window ledges in cities, keeping a watchful eye on pigeons in city parks. New York stands as a prime example of the significance of urban areas for peregrine falcons, boasting more pairs of these birds than any other city globally and hosting approximately 10% of the entire eastern USA population. In Queensland, there are around 950 breeding pairs of peregrine falcons, with 25 to 35 pairs located in southeast Queensland, 6 to 10 pairs in the greater Brisbane region. Each pair requires a vast home range, with those in southeast Queensland covering an estimated area of 100 sq.km and nest sites spaced approximately 41 km apart. Notably, a pair in the Morton Bay region was found to have a range spanning 1,500 to 2,600 sq.km. After World War II, a new and persistent pesticide known as DDT was widely used to control agricultural and domestic insect pests. The insects that were sprayed and killed with DDT were then consumed by other animals, leading to the bioaccumulation of the pesticide as it traveled through the food chain. This resulted in the thinning of shells in the eggs of predatory birds such as the peregrine falcon. Due to this, peregrine populations experienced significant declines worldwide, with many local populations becoming extinct. In 1970, the peregrine falcon was classified as an endangered species in the USA, and the use of DDT was prohibited in 1972. The global ban on DDT was implemented to prevent further poisonings, Despite this, traces of DDT can still be found in the tissues of almost every animal on the planet. Fortunately, populations of peregrine falcons and other birds of prey are now on the path to recovery. Peregrine falcons typically capture their prey while in flight. The process of locating prey often begins when the falcon is soaring on a rising column of warm air called a thermal. With its exceptional vision, and the ability to quickly focus its eyes on objects while in motion, the falcon can easily spot a bird the size of a pigeon from several kilometers away. When the falcon identifies a bird to hunt, it follows a curved flight path towards its target. Research has shown that a falcon sees objects most clearly when its head is turned at a 40-degree angle. 
However, during flight, the Falcon cannot turn its head as it significantly increases aerodynamic drag, even at relatively slow speeds. Therefore, it adopts a curved approach towards its prey, keeping its head straight and using one eye to maintain visual contact. Although a curved flight path is longer than a straight one, it proves to be faster due to reduced drag, allowing the Falcon to maintain speed. As the Peregrine Falcon closes in on its prey, it folds its wings and dives. Just before reaching the target, the Falcon pulls out of the dive and strikes with its open, sharply clawed feet, often resulting in instant death upon impact. If the prey manages to survive, the Peregrine swiftly kills it by delivering a bite through the spine using its notched beak. Peregrine Falcons can also capture birds while flying at a level altitude, or, less commonly, when taking off from a perch. Once a bird is caught, the peregrine falcon plucks and consumes it on the ground or transports it to a safe location, such as a roost or nest. Peregrine falcons prepare their nest sites by scraping a space large enough for their eggs. They typically choose high cliff edges, tree hollows, or disused stick nests of other birds as their nesting spots. Cliff edges offer safety and great vantage points for hunting. In addition, Peregrines also nest on man-made cliffs like window ledges on tall buildings and city centers. Peregrines usually nest between August and November, with females laying two to three eggs, sometimes four. The incubation period lasts for 33 days, and the young hatch over a period of two to three days. After spending 39 days in the nest, the young falcons become fully fledged but still rely on their parents until they master their hunting skills. One brood was observed becoming independent at four to five months old.